Hey there everyone, so after a long long time, Anthropic has released an update to their Claude Haiku model. We have Claude Haiku 4.5. The last time they released, a model in this category was Claude 3.5 Haiku. Can you imagine, it was the 3.5 Sonnet era. And after that, only now are we seeing Claude Haiku 4.5. But they are claiming this is a very capable model. As you know, Anthropic specifically focuses on coding and you can see in Sweebench Verified, they are claiming that this model is even better than Sonnet 4. You can actually have a look at the benchmark. So how good is it? So to find that how we'll be comparing it against one of the cheapest yet one of the best models that we have that is Grok 4 Fast. Let's look at some benchmarks and then we can go into side by side comparison between these two. So we don't have many correlation between the benchmarks, but if you look at GPQA Diamond benchmark, which actually assesses the reasoning of models, you can see Grok 4 Fast scores 85.7, whereas Claude 4.5 Haiku is not that capable. It scores just 73%, a significant difference. If you look at AIME 2025, which is a benchmark for Max, Grok 4 Fast scores an astounding 92% without any tools. On the other hand, Claude 4.5 Haiku scores 80.7 without any tools. Again, you see a large difference. Next up, we are having Humanity's last exam, you know, in which Grok 4 Fast scores 20%. So we don't have a direct score for Claude Haiku 4.5, but if you look at Humanity's last exams, there they have Claude 4.5 on it, which just scores 13.7. And I think we can assume that this model, Claude Haiku 4.5, is going to be less smarter than 4.5 sonnet so with that correlation it does not beat grok 4 fast in humanity's last exam as well which clearly shows that when it comes to reasoning max and daily life usage claude haiku 4.5 is not very competitive now before going ahead let's actually look at the pricing of this model so claude 3.5 haiku has a price of 80 cents per million input tokens and four dollars per million output tokens we do see a slight increase you know a 20 cents increase in input tokens now coming at one dollar per million input tokens and a one dollar increase in output tokens you know costing a five dollars per million output tokens if you compare this with grok 4 fast grok 4 fast is significantly cheaper it is just 20 cents for input tokens and 50 cents for output tokens nearly 10 times cheaper if you compare both input and output so we have already seen the benchmarks let's actually look at my reasoning tests as well so if you know I have four very hard questions that I've curated state of the art models and the models that you see over here in this image any other model out of this is not able to solve this. There are a lot of models, but we'll be focusing on Grok 4 Fast Reasoning and Claude 4.5 Haiku. On the first question, you can see Grok 4 Fast scores a 10 and 4.5 Haiku scores an 8. In the second question, both score a 0. In third question, Grok 4 Fast scores 1 and 4.5 Haiku scores a 0. In the last question, Grok 4 Fast scores 9 and Claude 4.5 Haiku scores a 6. So how do they stack up? If you look at the leaderboard, you can see the current best model is Grok 4 Reasoning followed by GBT5 High and if you just look at Grok 4 Fast and Claude 4.5 Haiku, on the 4th rank, we have Grok 4 Fast Reasoning, you know, even beating Gemini 2.5 Pro. And on the 7th rank, we have Claude 4.5 Haiku. So clearly when it comes to reasoning, and any other domain other than coding, I think Grok 4 Fast is a cheaper and a better option that you can pick. But what about coding? So let's do a head on between these two models. Towards my left, I have Claude Haiku 4.5 and towards my right, I have Grok 4 Fast. Let's test some questions and assess where they stand. So the first question is, can you draw a dragon in a web page using HTML, CSS and JS? Show side view of the dragon and give your best implementation in one single code. So let's send this to both and let's see how they do. Okay, everyone, we have the response and you can have a look side by side. Towards my left, I have 3.5 Haiku and towards my right, I have Grok 4 Fast. Grok 4 Fast has given us a terrible response and on the other hand, Claude 4.5 Haiku has shocked me. Just have a look at it. We have a clear nose, eyes, on wings are kind of weird but other than that everything looks perfect the tail is also detached but it is a working response it is a easily distinguishable dragon and miles better than grok 4 fast let's move on to the next question next is build the absolute best implementation of super mario game in a web page without using any external assets and in one single code let's send this and let's see what they do okay everyone we have the responses let's start off with grok 4 fast this time we'll do this in full screen so this is the game you can see i'll have to restart it again i guess so now you can see i'm able to move the mario and uh, i don't hear any kind of sounds and also you can see the background is kind of moving with me so let's actually try to cross this let's see what happens when we try to kill the enemy okay let's see if we try to kill the enemy okay i'm not able to kill them also the movement is very fast actually let's try to 
finish the level it says level complete okay so it is a working response let's look at claude haiku 4.5 so you can see uh right off the back it looks a bit better also we have sound over here let's see if i are able if you are able to kill the enemies okay we are able to kill them as you can see so let's cross this level okay we are in level 2 now so we are in level 2 now and now you can see i'm back into level 1 so we loop between two levels so comparatively again i would say that you know it is a close call but uh, haiku 4.5 gets the edge over here and it wins so next up we are asking them to create a landing page you can see the prompt is create a landing page for a plant nursery called susan rose the landing page needs to have the look feel and theme that suits the business give me your best implementation in one single code so the prompt is kind of ambiguous but this allows the models to show their creativity how good they are able to do okay so now let's look at grok for fast response this is what it has come up with susan rose nursery and you can see it has implemented a rose over here as a logo you know having this tree over here actually gives us a calming feel which i like let's click explore our plants and you can see it says feature plants and we have the prices of various plants and fruits i think the name doesn't match the image because uh, it says fresh herb collection over here and the image is something else we have get in touch information so if i click send a message it actually opens up the mail app all in all it is a kind of okay response nothing much to say let's keep this aside and let's actually try haiku 4.5 so this you can see is what haiku has come up with susan rose and you can see we have a floating rose over here going up and down we also have this plant we can see the emoji of a plant which is moving up and down if i hover over explore collection you can see it kind of glows so let's click explore collection and you can see we have various kinds of plants and different prices about susan rose and all that information we have testimonials as well you can see it has tried to implement facebook instagram twitter and maybe this is snapchat all in all i think this is actually a more polished response you can see you know all these elements and the product products and stuff and also having testimonials so i think it is actually better i do like this first impression look you know having a tree which actually gives me the calmness but i think uh, haiku 4.5 is more closer to a finished product so i'll give this point to haiku and i think guys i don't know for what reason grok 4 fast seems to be underperforming the first time when we tested this it was actually performing good and i think uh, it has been nerfed i'm not sure if that's the case but it does feel like it anyways let's move on to another question so next up we are asking them to create a flight simulator game with chase camera view let's see what they do okay everyone we have the responses so let's actually look at grok for fast we'll preview this in a new screen and you can see things are moving a bit faster we are able to control the plane you can see but the map is kind of moving very fast and glitching so this needs to be fixed let's keep this aside and uh, let's look at haiku so this is what haiku has generated right off the back it looks very good but it is not moving from its place i am hitting throttle but nothing is happening so i think we'll have to come up with a second iteration okay we have the updated response so let's actually try grok 4 fast you can see i'm able to move my cursor i guess for you know controlling the plane so you can see i have given the throttle and i'm able to move the plane here and there it is actually a working response guys now you can see we are able to move here and there and we are able to maneuver the plane so all in all it's a working response it was able to do it in two iterations let's look at 4.5 haiku okay so this is what 4.5 haiku has come up with as you can see it looks good you know if you actually have a look at the plane let me try to show you you can see the plane looks good but it's not moving from its place you know again it is stuck so i think this is going to be a win for grok for fast let's move on to another problem so next up we are asking them to create a trading view like dashboard you know showing tick by tick updated chart and having various tools let's see how they do so we'll send this to both okay everyone we have the responses let's start off with grok for fast so we'll preview this and Okay, we have a candlestick chart and I do think that it is updating tick by tick. You know the first time I was able to see it was updating I guess. So if you look very closely it does seem that like it is updating tick by tick. I'll try to zoom it. Let's actually do one thing. We'll change the time frame. So I have set it to 5 minutes and 15 minutes but nothing is actually changing. I do really think that Grok for fast has been kind of nerfed i guess it was giving us better response previously i have i am using it in high settings guys let's see if other things work i'm trying to change the stock and stuff but 
none of this is working we have simple moving average over here that is nice we have the button for exponential moving average but it is not working rsi is working and again macd is not working so some things are working some things are not working not a very good response having said that let's actually look at cloud 4.5 haiku okay so this is what it has generated you can see the candlestick chart is updating tick by tick i guess let's see what happens when we change the time frame so again nothing is happening over here as well but you have we have more indicators over here here we have bollinger bands exponential moving average simple moving average and stuff like that we have a theme button but but clicking it shows us nothing we can change the candle width over here and speed as well of the simulation and now you can see it is very fast if we click buy order you know in recent trades we see a buy okay so if we compare both models i think uh, grok 4 fast is better because the the first and foremost thing is you know getting the tick by tick updating chart right you can see i have been looking at both the charts that they have generated the response from grok 4 fast is actually you know filling up the candles and new candles are coming up according to the time frame on the other hand you can see that is not happening in clot 4.5 sonnet's response there is just one big candle and it is just going on increasing so i think comparatively grok 4 fast is better in this one let's move on to the next question now we'll be looking at some python based problems now they have to create a hollow circle with an opening and there are two balls inside it and whenever a ball exits two new balls appear so this is the simulation that they have to make let's see what they do okay we have the response from both models let's look at grok 4 fast we'll paste the code and we'll run it okay we have two balls and let's see what happens when a ball exits you can see a ball is exiting and two new balls are appearing so now you can see a lot of balls are generated but it is still working so that is nice let's keep that aside and let's try clot 4.5 haiku we'll paste the code and we'll run it okay we have four balls and the visuals are kind of nice Let let's see what happens when a ball exits so you can see the exit is mentioned over here but the actual opening is somewhere over here and also the balls are kind of getting clumped over there it shouldn't have happened So I think comparatively Grok 4 fast was better it is a win for Grok 4 fast let's move on to another problem now we are asking them to write a python program that simulates earth's rotation so let's send this and let's see what they come up with okay everyone we have got the responses let's start off with Grok 4 fast so let's copy the code we'll paste it and we'll run it okay that didn't run that was a fail so we'll keep this aside and we'll try 4.5 haiku we'll paste the code and we'll run it and that didn't run as well so we'll move on for the second iteration okay we have the updated responses Let's look at Grok 4 fast. We'll paste it when we'll run it. Okay, we do have some kind of Earth visualization over here, and it's kind of rotating, but I don't think it's a very good response. Nothing much to say about this. Let's look at 4.5 Haiku. We'll copy the code and we'll paste it and we'll run it. Okay, so this is what it has come up with. Again, not a very good response. Both are kind of uh, bad in this. They gave a working response, which is nice, but it doesn't look that good. So I'll give this a fail to both of them. Now let's ask them to create state-of-the-art Pac-Man game in Python. Let's see. what they do we'll send this to both models okay so grok 4 fast is done let's have a look so we'll run the code and okay that didn't run that was a fail let's look at clot 4.5 haiku's response so we'll paste the code and we'll run it and that didn't run so both didn't give us a working response i think we'll have to do the second iteration okay everyone we have got the updated response let's start off with grok 4 fast we'll paste the code and we'll run it and okay we have the pacman it looks good the mouth is ca correctly opening but there is no way for the ghost to actually come out so that is kind of an issue so it was not able to you know implement a correct maze but everything else is working so let's keep this aside and And let's actually try Claude Haiku 4.5. We'll paste the code and we'll run it. it. Says Pac-Man Python Edition space to start. So we have sound as well. That is nice. We are able to eat the ghosts as well. The maze is correctly implemented actually, and the ghost is actually following me. You can see they are coming after me. So I think that is a nice addition. But the Pac-Man doesn't look that good. I have to say that it could not implement the Pac-Man correctly. So I think comparatively it is. A better response compared to Grok 4 fast because it is a working game. Making the game work is actually very difficult, and Haiku 4.5 was able to do it. So I'll give this point to Haiku 4.5. So what can we say? So clearly, when it comes to reasoning or anything else other than coding, Claude Haiku 4.5 is very behind. just like other anthropic models also one thing that i like about grok 4 fast is you know it is very brief and short with its responses so if you are using it for anything like you know generating prompts or any writing stuff you will see that its generation is actually very condensed and not overly verbose on the other hand anthropic models are very verbose if you talk about sonnet 4.5 and haiku 4.5 but if you talk about coding things actually change a bit if you look at the front end problem
problems we tested five problems and out of them in three of them claude hyco 4.5 was better and in two of them which were actually the harder problems grok 4 fast was better talking about back end both got one one point so if you look at the total scores that is three points out of eight for Grok 4 fast and 4 out of 8 for Haiku 4.5. But I have to say a very serious thing about Haiku 4.5. How much time it thinks for your response really impacts on its performance. You can see for this particular problem, you can see, you know, to fix the error, it only thought for 2.1 seconds. But sometimes it can take a lot of time. For example, you can see here it thought for 78 seconds because it was a generation. But even in one shot generations, it sometimes takes very less time to think and in such scenarios its performance is not that good so how much time the model thinks really impacts its performance especially talking about haiku 4.5 so overall i would say grok 4 fast is a more fuller and a model that does all of the stuff especially for coding Claude Haiku 4.5 is slightly better but both are not very good. If you have seen my videos about Sonnet 4.5, it actually blew the competition away but that is not the case with Haiku 4.5. It is a neck to neck comparison between these two. Looking at the price, you can easily go with Grok 4 fast which is actually 10 times cheaper than Haiku 4.5. Now you can iterate 10 times and I think in such scenarios, it will actually perform better. So I hope this video was helpful. If you found any kind of meaningful information from this please do hit the like button and please make sure you hype this video so that more and more people are able to watch this and make better decisions having said that i'll catch you guys in the next one